in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed hallelujah Holy, 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 and the people say, Holy, 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 and the people say, Holy, 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 and the people say, Holy, 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 is the Lord. are happening in the spirit hallelujah remarkable things happening in the spirit why do we need the spirit of revelations Romans 11 verse 33 we are going to pray we are still praying Romans 11 why do we need the manifestation of the spirit of revelation Romans chapter 11. He says, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. He says, How what? Unsearchable. Are his judgments and his ways past or beyond finding out? God surrounds himself with mysteries like chariots. And it takes the agency of the spirit of revelation to help us understand this mystery deity and tap from his wisdom to reign. He says, oh, the depth, the dimension of the mysteries that are contained in God. He says, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. But the Bible says, no man knows what is in the spirit of a man, except the spirit of that man. He says, so also, no man knows the mind of God, what is in his spirit, except the spirit of God. He says, the spirit has the ability to search as deep as it is. He has capacity to search. And he can search and reveal it to the saints. Listen, let me tell you something. Divine strategies, divine secrets 
We call them mysteries. That's the key that has turned ordinary men to wonders. Something about the operation of the kingdom. As big as any door it is, it requires a key for it to open. A door can be locked as big as it is if the key is missing. You can roam around that place forever. Hallelujah. It takes the key. And we are going to be praying very briefly. Men and women of God have been here leading us very powerfully. But I want your eyes to be open to something. And I pray that God will grant you grace to see. You see, what you hear is information. You don't see information. When your eye sees it, it's no longer information. Because the eye is the light of the body, not ear. He said, I will stand upon my watch. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1. He says, and I will set myself upon the tower. And I will see what the Lord will say. That's revelation. When you can see what God is saying. It has entered your spirit. You can hear what he's saying. And not change. But when you see it, you must change. Hmm. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. I've been praying seriously. That we will comprehend the gravity and the necessity for the manifestation of the spirit of revelation in our lives. I said it yesterday. Revelation is, you see, one of the things I've seen in the body of Christ, and I'm and, and part of it. But I've seen the folly of men. The Bible says, ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. We think revelation is accumulation of many things somebody else does not know. So our, our pursuit is to accumulate as many strange opinions that are known only by a few people. And we call it revelation. No, sir. Revelation, listen to me. Revelation is not just an information that only a few people know. No. That's not revelation. Revelation is not even knowing what God has said. I said it yesterday. If you know what God has said, brothers and sisters, and you cannot make it work in your life, it is useless. We keep mocking ourselves with information that has no power for manifestation. There are many pastors who can tell you they know everything about church growth. They know everything about healing, everything about miracles. The end of revelation is not that you know it, that your life becomes a testament of its reality. Hallelujah. So it's not enough to just know, oh, I know this, I know this. Is it working in your life? Is it working? Is it producing results in your life? I'd like you to be frustrated in a positive way tonight. Let, let an anger rise from you and say, Lord, something I know is mocking your grace in my life. I claim to know this. It's not working. It's not working. I claim I have so way. But at every weather blows a little, I'm a victim of everything. No, 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 no. Is it a lie? There is a reality of the life of God. You see, one of the greatest frustrations in the body of Christ is that we are cramming scriptures, which is okay. But we do not stay with the spirit to open us up to the mystery. So we have many scriptures. We quote it and recite it and gather accolades to ourselves we cannot defend. So lots of people say this guy can quote scripture. But there's nothing in our lives that show the reality. Let me tell you one result will answer a thousand questions. I know this. I believe in results. I have no business participating in anything that does not have the capacity. He says, so therefore let your light so shine, not your explanation. Let your light so shine before men. I want them to see it. For herein is your Father glorified where you bear much fruit. Hallelujah. Two things I'm going to share with us very quickly. You want the spirit of revelation to come upon your heart. You can sit down, please. We are going to rise up to pray. I just want to. I was searching the scripture. And just asking the Lord what he would put in my heart. As I admonish us. Please pay attention. You will never encounter the spirit of revelation. Listen. 
Listen, when there is no willingness. You see, most people mock God. We think God is, is just a stupid person who doesn't have anything to do in heaven. Is there a willingness in your heart to walk in the truth thereof? Hallelujah. John 7, verse 17. Media, you help us. We'll look at a few scriptures. I found this scripture very interesting. John 7, verse 17. Everyone read if you can. It's projected. One to read. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He said, if any man will, once your will is there, the revelation will be given to you. There is no commitment in many believers to grow. There is no commitment to do great things for the kingdom. Therefore, there is no need for the manifestation of the spirit of revelation. Because the spirit of revelation shows you certain things to the end that you will do something with it. Hallelujah. The willingness to obey attracts the spirit of revelation. The willingness to obey, not the willingness to know. The willingness to obey. The Lord, as you show me, and that grace for performance comes, I kick into action immediately. God will always give us revelations and cry that we do something with it. It's not enough to know a truth and keep it there and it does not bless you. Matthew 25. Matthew 25. The Bible tells us a very interesting... Um, when you read from verse 14 to 30, the parable, popular story, the parable of the talent, Right? The Bible says he gave on to one, you know, all kinds of talents. And the Bible says he gave one five. Listen, he gave one two. He gave one one. The Bible says they went immediately and traded it. Are we together? What did they do? Immediately, when they got it, they swung into action. And they brought forth results. The one with five brought five more. The one with two brought two more. But one held the revelation. And he was just moving around with it. And after a while, the master came and said, Okay, I've come for accountability because I want to improve you. I want to promote you. The one with five who made it ten, he said, Well done. The one with two who made it four, well done. Listen to what the last person said. I know you are a hard man. You like reaping where you did it so. So I thought I would just bury it. You bury seeds, not talents. When you bury seeds, they will grow. When you bury talent, they become useless and unprofitable. And he was angry. And hear what the Bible says. He collected the talent from the one and took it and gave someone. This is the mystery in the kingdom. The more you appreciate revelations and receive them, the more you qualify yourself for more. You, you peg the limit of the access of the spirit of revelation in your life. With disobedience and refusal to act. Your journey to the mysteries of the kingdom is at the mercy of what you know so far. God watches it. Because he said, gather the crumbs. Let there be no waste. Gather the crumbs. I showed you something about a key that can supernaturally bring sinners. You ignored it. You played around with it. But you are looking for the mysteries that bring church growth. And God says, no, your heart is not right. I gave you a dimension of revelation. It was mismanaged. Several people want Rema. And I'll tell you why. I've taught here again and again. The reason is because in the body of Christ, we have this childish attitude of gathering crowns for ourselves based on our ability to compare scripture with scripture. So the pursuit of many people into the mysteries of God is to have something to defend their ministry. They are not interested whether or not results come. So when Benga comes up and preaches and bombards everybody with mysteries, and then Pastor Alpha and Pastor Femi, they are now nodding and saying, Man, this guy is deep. No. Revelation is more than that. You cannot want revelation to use it to cover your inferiority. It's more than that. It's God speaking to us now. That's why a lot of people want it so that when you go to a church and they say, Okay, just. Can you just um, share 
give us something, maybe a little charge, greet the people and collect offering. So instead of going to a, the popular scripture, you now say, go to the book of Revelations and they say, just for offering. And you are happy. And you derive a sense of honor and God is watching. He's saying, I gave you something that can change a destiny. And you bring it and tie it down just to, to massage your ego before men. He said, they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise. Revelation is more than so that we don't make God look like a charmer or a magician, like a jenny that will twist his hand and use. Is your heart committed to obey? When God gives me a revelation, I hold on to it. The word of the Lord came to me some years ago. He said, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. So your willingness to obey. Well, let me show you two very quick mysteries. I pray that the Lord will open your eyes. Keys that can attract the manifestation of the spirit of revelation. Just two of them. Number one, Songs of Solomon chapter 5 verse 2. If you want to be a man of deep mysteries, listen, surrender your night time to God. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? What I'm teaching you is very deep. Dedicate your night time. I don't mean don't sleep. Just say, Lord, once it is night and the sun goes down, I dedicate this time for encounters. He says, I sleep, but my heart wakes. My body may lie down and sleep, but my spirit is waiting. Like a watchman, I expect you to come. I expect you to show up in my room. I expect to wake up in the morning writing. As everyone who knows me, I sleep with my Bible, notebook, biro, my phone. I expect mysteries to wake me up. Dedicate your night time. Listen, great men of the spirit understand the mystery of the night. The Bible says, and then the secret was shown unto Daniel in the vision of the night, not the vision of the afternoon. The night time is the time when men see. The night time is the time when men see. One more scripture. Job 33. Job 33. We'll look at 15 and 16. The Bible talks about Job, the greatest man from the east. Right? Let's look at something Job said. One to read, 15 and 16, is projected. One to read. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon my bed, what happens? Then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. Listen, there are encounters when you go to sleep in the night. Strange things happen on earth. The same way Alien spirits and demons come and sow seeds. Many things happen in the night. Listen, many great people have been cheated, not discerning the mystery of the night. Did you know in the spirit, you measure a whole day beginning from the night, not morning. And the evening came and the morning was the first day. And the evening came and the morning was the second day. People die in the night. Somebody who had enough faith to stand in the afternoon. By night, something happens. It's not just the absence of light. There is a mystery of the night. Everyone who prays seriously will tell you there is grace to pray in the night. Are we together now? Dedicate your night to God. I've done this in my life. I'm telling you there is almost no night that I don't have an encounter. Some sort, if it's not a direct encounter with God, some kind of scripture. I can play, I have the whole Bible on my phone. I can find a chapter, put it on repeat, and put it on my ears. The, the thing looking for rest is not my spirit, it's my body. And the scripture playing will not interrupt the body from sleeping. So body, you can sleep while the spirit continues. How many of you have had times when... You are sleeping and what you were listening to continues. 
in your sleep. And you begin to live it like a vision. The same way it was at the same time. Your ears, you are on the bed sleeping. But in that vision. And Jesus was at the Nazareth. And you are there. Those encounters. You wake up with surges of power. Running down from your head to toe. You think you just had a nice nap. But when you continue. One day you begin to see possibilities. Activated in your life. Because strange encounters. Sacrifice your nighttime people of God to God. By sacrifice your nighttime, I don't just mean wake up in the night and pray, although that's wonderful. But I'm saying dedicate your nighttime. That whether awake or asleep, it's like a, a covenant with God. You are saying, Lord, my nighttime belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, 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 it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Every time I go to sleep, I know that revelation is coming. Sometimes, even before I sleep, the presence of God is already filling the place. And I just sleep under that atmosphere. Strange encounters. Oh, King, don't be hasty in what you want to do. Give us time. You just had a dream, no interpretation. You want to kill everybody. No. Allow us. And Daniel went. There was a God that reveals secret. But things don't just happen. You see, when we don't understand the way spiritual things are regulated, we mock ourselves. God is almighty. But his presence is not manifested anytime, anywhere, the way you want. There is a protocol, even to the coming of his presence. The Bible says, then the vision was revealed. In the night time, when all the noise of unbelief, all the people that jam the spiritual atmosphere with unbelief have gone to bed. Revelations. Sometimes you will wake you and you just stand and sit down like a zombie. You can't pray, you can't read your Bible, but you are just silent. You don't even know what is happening to you. After one hour, you sleep back. You thought you were just watching, but there was a transfer, like from a filling station to you. It will take days before you understand what just happened to you that night. You just know that you woke up and you could not sleep. You were watching, you seemed restless. Because the language of God, I've taught here and I've taught in the school of ministry. The language of God is not English, it's not French, it's not Greek, it's not Hebrew. The language of God is light. And when that light comes to you, sometimes it will take a while. That's what happens to some of you when you fall under the anointing. It's not every falling under the anointing that is impartation as it were. Or maybe demons going out. There are times what throws you down is the word of God to your spirit. He said the voice of God upon the waters is mighty. But it will take a while. Like a snake that swallows an animal. And then you begin to see it unfold. We are going to pray. One more mystery. Psalm 49 verse 4. is Something I have known for a few years. And has blessed my life. This is the reason why you find out that every time we pray, we create an atmosphere of worship. Psalms 49 verse 4. Everyone read please. I will incline my ear to a parable. It says, I will open my dark sayings upon the heart. That means anywhere I begin to hear sounds of music and worship, it will attract the spirit of revelation. The prophet knew this, right? He said, bring me a mystery. I need to see, I, I need to know what is happening. But bring me a mystery. The Bible says the moment he was playing, the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, fill these ditches with water. I say, you may not see wind, you may not see rain, but the valley shall be filled with water. Listen. Surround your time with God. Soak it with worship. Sometimes you need to just allow worship. Just play. In 2005, I did a strong research. Jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence. Searching for what it was in these Jewish songs. And the presence of God. I found a lot of things I cannot share for time's sake. 
But we are going to pray. A prayer of dedication of our night time to God. And say, Lord, beginning from tonight, I surrender my night time forever to you. That you will open me up to tremendous mysteries. Divine secrets. And you are going to pray and say, Lord, ride on the wings of my worship. Can we rise up very quickly and pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. I dedicate my night time. Up to you. Visit me. Whether asleep or awake. Give me revelations. Show me divine secrets. Show me divine strategies. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me, O God. Visit me, O God. Shapakoroto Soto Braganaba. Visit me, O God. Please make sure you are praying in the night time. When men go to bed, I keep my spirit alive to receive from you strategies for business, strategies for ministry, strategies for marriage. Receive it from the realm of the spirit. Divine solutions, strategies to issues of of concern. Are you praying? Lord, reveal that which I need to do in the night vision. As I sleep, let me see. As I sleep, let me see. I come for the spirit of revelation through the mystery of the night. Through the mystery of the night. Through the mystery of the night. Hallelujah. 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 I like us to pray and say, Lord, every mystery you have shown me so far that I have ignored, remind me and grant me grace to obey. Lift your voice and pray. Every mystery that has been shared upon this altar, every truth you have shown me, and out of carelessness, I ignored it. Out of carelessness, I refuse to act upon it. You showed me what will make my children better. I ignored it. You showed me what will bring prosperity to my life. I ignored it. You showed me what would keep me long and healthy. I ignored it. Remind me by your spirit and grant me grace to walk in it. Pray. Grace for obedience. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, it's not what you do that makes you prosper. It's how you do it. There is a way God can show you. Do A and B and C. And it will take you from one dimension to another. Please hear me. It's not doing things that brings results. It is the revelation behind what is being done. Everybody opens a shop. You can open it the way you want. But God can tell you, no. This is a secret I give you. It may not work for anybody, but I give you. He said, where fell the axe head? And they showed him. And for that condition, the secret was to carry a stick. It was never done anywhere again. And he threw it, and the axe head floated. You are going to pray and say, Lord, what is the strategy to come out of my predicament? Show me this night. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray, pray. Lord, there is a strategy. There is a strategy to pay that rent. There is a strategy to take that business to the next level. There is a strategy for my church to expand. There is a strategy. 
for my finances to change. There is a strategy for my prayer life to jump back to life. There is a strategy. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes by the spirit of revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Everything you have is enough if you know what to do with it. Did you hear what I said? Everything you have is enough if you know what to do with it. The Bible says there was five loaves and two fish. Jesus knew what to do with it to feed 5,000 people. Sometimes what you need is not more. What you need is strategy. Strategy. Business people hear me. You need strategy. You do things foolishly, jack of all trade, master of none. You will crash your life. You need strategy. Pastors, you need strategy. All this copy and paste thing people do. Because others are doing it, you do it to know. It says, thou shall hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk in it. We are going to pray one more time and say, Lord, show me something applicable to my own life and destiny. What is the strategy for my marriage? What is the strategy for my finances? What is the strategy? Please lift your voice and pray. What is the strategy for my ministry? What is the strategy for my business? Reveal it to me, O God. Reveal it to me. Divine strategies. Keys of the kingdom. Keys of the kingdom. Divine strategies. Keys of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you know what to do, it will end stagnation in your life forever. But if you do not know what to do, you can remain in a position for a long time. You can pray, but you need strategies. It was David Yonggi Cho who was crying that God would show him the keys of church growth and God opened his eyes to the concept of self-fellowship. Many men of God carried it hook, line and sinker without revelation and split their churches into pieces because it came by light. The Bible says, write prosperously because of truth. Not because of desire, because of truth. Hallelujah. Was Bishop Wedeko who was sharing that the Lord gave him a revelation about corporate tithing, right? From Hebrews 7, verse 7, that and without contradiction, the lesser is blessed of the greater. There are strategies. A man can be grounded for many years, but one key will open you up. I've shared with you my, my, my story from the scripture. God told me, said, Um, how did he put it now? Um to be good to everyone. He said, for in it, many of you have entertained angels unaware. I saw that scripture and it entered my spirit as light. And one time there were women. I was buying sugar cane. And there were two women, strange women, who were also buying sugar cane. And it was in my spirit, based on the light of that scripture. Just bless them. And I said, Mama, you people, don't worry. You don't have to pay. I'll pay for you. And they were looking at me, trying to lose their this thing that they put money and I think it was 59 or so I gave them and these women started blessing me they were blessed you know how these people bless honestly whether they were human beings or angels I do not know 
they were blessing me but of all that they said I, I didn't remember but I know one of the women spoke to me and said my son forever walk upon gold that was what she said to me forever walk upon gold what you see is a mystery I've, I read many books on church growth and I appreciated the revelation but truly did not connect to my spirit and I said Lord show me Give me the revelation for this ministry. Mark chapter 1, 2, 3. My goodness. When God opened my eyes, He said Jesus was in the wilderness. Men came. He went on the mountain top. Men came. There was a mystery. He said it was noise abroad that Jesus was in town. Who did the publicity remain a mystery? And it entered my spirit. It was noise abroad. They met Jesus and they said, All men seek for thee. It may not work for someone else. But that's a revelation. That's what I told you. It's not what you do. It's the light that backs what you do. Someone may refuse now and say, Koinonia doesn't do any publicity. And people come. And you may not publicize your program and you will see empty pews all around. Because I'm not against publicity. Every man works on the authority of the light that came for him. He said, and God made two great lights. One to rule the day. And the other to rule the night. And the Lord taught me that there is a kind of revelation that you need in times of pain, hardship, and obscurity. It's called the night time. There is a, the light that rules in the day may not be the same pattern in the night. And so you must sustain ability to survive. Whether in the daytime when things are working well or in the night time. That's why when, whether people cry recession, whether they cry whatever, there is a light that rules in the night. When you read a Bible story and it ends as a story, you just had information. But when something rises from scripture and it is opened up to you, the Utopian Enoch said, the Philip asked him, he said, Understand what thou readest. Do you understand? He was reading, but he did not understand. The Bible says, He breathed upon them, He opened their understanding. The last prayer, Father, open my understanding. Open my understanding. I'm tired of reading the Bible like a storybook. Open my understanding. Please lift your voice and pray. Open my understanding. Open my understanding. In the name of Jesus, he said, In all thy getting, get understanding. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Before I speak over your life, please bring out your prayer requests. Oh, 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 oh. Revelations 5, verse 12. I'd like you to participate fully in what God is doing. You hear the testimonies that are coming. Testimonies don't just happen. They are made to happen. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb. We started by saying that which He received. To receive power. And then riches. And today to receive wisdom. Some of the answers to this request will require wisdom from on high. That's why we are crying for the spirit of revelation. Lift it up please as we pray. Before I speak over your life, I'd like you to say, Lord, 
any request that requires wisdom, not just prayer, not just casting demons, reveal to me, reveal to me the wisdom strategy I need to apply. Some of those things you are lifting, they don't even need binding and casting anything. Strategies, wisdom. Please pray. Caparoto Soto Prega de Bella de Bash, Japa Pacata Balada Bacoroto Subata. You have received for me wisdom. 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 Hallelujah. Please lift it high. For those who are just coming tonight, I want you to understand the revelation of what we are doing. The Bible says how that Hezekiah made the request bare. There are two requests we have, we have before the Lord. The first is the request of our expectations. All the things we want the Lord to do for us on the positive. The second represents our challenges. Everything that has mocked the name of the Lord. Please feel free to collect even that of your loved ones. And the Lord said every day I should speak over it. Hallelujah. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted, as I, as I was commanded. In the name that is above all names, I pray. Father, you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. You have instructed us and we are childlike enough to obey you. I speak over every request, every expectation. The Bible says that our expectations will not be cut short. I'm praying. Let miracles begin to happen on those lists. Let miracles begin to happen on those lists. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worthy is the Lamb who by His being slain has received for us wisdom. Every strategy you need to answer some of these requests, receive it this night. I prophesy visions. I prophesy revelations. I prophesy dreams that will tell you what to do in the name of Jesus. No matter how impossible the expectation is, because you have faith for it, I declare, may it become yours. May it become yours. May it become yours. In the name of Jesus, may it become yours. He said that which we have heard we first heard it then we saw it then our hands handled it you have heard it you have seen it i command your hands to handle it in the name of jesus i command your hands to handle it the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld his glory the answer that has been hanging in the realm of the spirit, it must become flesh and appear before men. It must become flesh and appear before men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every challenge you are lifting, you have cried about it. Your family members have cried about it. It has brought tears to your eyes. The Bible says we do not have a high priest. Who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity and praying in the name of Jesus? Every spirit behind the tragedy that is lifted, I'm not speaking to the request first, the spirit behind the, tra the tragedy, this night we release the fire of judgment. Hear me. If there is any human agent, Behind the tears on that list, this night, in the name that is above the all names, we command judgment. We command judgment. He said, Pharaoh will not let you go except by a strong hand. In the name of Jesus, whoever has refused to let you go, to turn that challenge to a testimony and pray this night. 
He said, if you do not release me, I will take your own firstborn. Whoever has taken what is yours, I will not release it. We seize their peace tonight. We seize their peace tonight. In the name of Jesus. And at night, the king could not sleep for the sake of Daniel. Early in the morning, he went. He said, Daniel, has the God whom you serve kept you? He said, oh, leave king. He said, he has sent angels. I pray. Angels can be sent to rescue, but they can send to punish. Angels use hailstone and stone people with it until they release the destiny of God's people. I pray. Whatever must happen for your testimony to manifest, we permit it to happen this night. In the name of Jesus, whatever must happen for your testimony to manifest, we release it to happen. Hallelujah. He said, I will overturn, overturn, overturn. I will keep overturning until it gets to your place. I don't care how many times God must move in that family. Even if he has done it before, my God, do it again till it gets to your turn. May God do it again till it gets to your turn. Every negative report, we change it tonight. Every verdict, listen, any man threatening you, hear me. Every man was a baby in the hands of a woman one day. Ask Pharaoh, God knows how to humble men. Every dagon standing to mock your God as represented in the challenges you have written. The same way dagon fell before the ark, may that challenge fall tonight. May that challenge fall tonight. Hallelujah. While I was preparing for this meeting, I got a very humorous text from, I think it was the assistant MD. He couldn't make it today. I'm sure tomorrow he will share it. He said he had been praying and praying. They have been trusting the dad for a car. And humanly speaking, it may not be easy to get that car made financially. I think his parents are missionaries. And he said just yesterday, somebody walked up to the father and gave him a brand new Jeep. Brand new it's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the Lord that showed mercy. That you don't know the road does not mean it's not here. I'm praying for you again in the name of Jesus. Whatever your eyes must see to solve these problems, may it be revealed to you this night. There are some of you, the solution. To your problems is in the account of somebody the solution to your cry is in the endorsement of somebody the solution to that jobless situation it is within the power to say i am also a man under authority i have a jurisdiction and i have influence i'm praying whoever needs to show up to help you he said a man was crippled and could not help himself but he says some men carried him toward the sink and brought him down whoever needs to carry you from where you are whoever needs to come in for your family whoever needs to show up in your destiny wherever they are this night in the name of jesus they will see you in their dreams they will see themselves helping you please believe what i'm saying they will see themselves blessing you financially the lord will instruct them in the night and they will be compelled to obey. Listen, you have been begging some of them, they are not responding. Now we ask God by revelation. Since you have begged, 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 and they won't listen, I pray for you. Through their dreams, may they see themselves helping you as a confirmation that they are your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of jesus christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having it's like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command healing for you now. 
now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look. Now, I want you to begin to check yourself. Look at this. The collarbone here. The power of God is touching someone right now. That collarbone. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision God is showing me. You have a child that is suffering from autism. Autism. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching that child right now. Autism. Autism. Be healed now. Your, your son, your sister's son, in the name of Jesus, wherever the boy is, we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow i'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of god is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming i want you to pray that in the name of jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny i declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they meet wife rooms they meet wife dimensions every gate and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life i decree and i declare i decree and i declare i decree and i declare be open for me right now i decree and i declare i decree and i declare my god are you seeing miracles people are coming people are coming pray god is opening doors two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then 
will receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone. In the name of Jesus, one who ask it, receive it. He said, if you can see me as I am taking up, if you can see me, and the Bible says the heavens were open, and he saw the chariots of heaven come. Listen, he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof, and all of a sudden that mantle came upon him, and he went to the Jordan. Watch this now. As soon as he, he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he struck the mantle. The Bible says Jordan parted heater and teeter. We're about to enter a very sensitive period of this graduation right now. Please, I want everybody to pray those who are connecting online. Our precious people are about to receive something that will change their lives. It is such as we have that we give. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are resting here tonight. Now listen carefully. We're about to pray. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, you have heard me say it. One of the many mandates he gave me was that to every city and every nation I send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come. Our precious students have learned, they have been built, they have prayed, they have cried. Now is the time for them to receive. Please let's have the oil very quickly. The jar, everything please. Isaac, walk with them. Father, this is ordinary oil oil cannot anoint this comes from a tree oil only anoints when it is anointed itself and in the name of jesus christ we anoint this oil by the power of the holy spirit and lord we pray that in the name of jesus let this bring impartation to your people father by the privilege of the election of grace I stand upon my office by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name of Jesus as I have freely received I pray that the lives and the destinies of your people will be changed even by this impartation in the name of Jesus let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit Please begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's 
your hands in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every student here the grace that is dormant within you that has not found expression I stand by this mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic I declare right now let it be activated now let it be activated now prophetic graces apostolic graces teacher anointings mantles of leadership let it be activated now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the grace for speed may it come upon your life now speed in the name of jesus christ anything connected to ancestry anything connected to activities of witchcraft that has kept people down in the name of jesus the son of the living god i open that gate for you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward beyond any curse go forward i'm hearing marine spirit in my heart I decree and declare any connection with the spirits that reside within waters by the power that raised Christ from the dead a permanent separation right now every door that has refused to open for you maybe it did not open for those who went ahead of you but in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of he that holds the key of David that opens a door that no man shuts and shuts a door that no man opens may that door of destiny be opened now be opened now everywhere you have been mandated to represent the purposes of God whether in ministry, whether in business, in politics, in the name of Jesus, the grace that enthrones you there, receive that grace now. And thou shalt take some of thy honor and put upon him, in the name of Jesus, the grace and the mantle that causes nations to listen, that hear ye him anointing, I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility 
in the name of Jesus may that grace mantle you right now and hear me from today anyone that fights you goes down instantly anyone that fights you goes down instantly everyone who has been mandated to partner with you and hold your hands providing help and resources as far as kingdom advancement is concerned i prophesy to the north the south the east and west i call them to your business i call them to your ministry in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone here who is a victim of the negative prophecy of anyone maybe your parents maybe people you offended in your days of ignorance job said he will deliver you from six things yes seven things one of it is the scourging tongues of men anyone here who is a victim of the speakings of men i stand by the authority of priesthood and i bless you i bless you i bless you i bless you beyond your background i bless you beyond your limitations i bless you in the name of jesus christ i speak to the elements of creation they were designed to work in partnership with us therefore i decree and declare the wind the forces that must align themselves to ensure you do not fail in the name of jesus we swing them to operation now the spirit of untimely death that kills men at the prime of their relevance i decree and declare i shut the door of the grave over you i shut the door of the grave over you i shut the door of the grave over you in the name of jesus christ the spirit of lack and poverty listen carefully especially those of you who are called into ministry it is the absence of resources that has pushed people into all kinds of compromises joining wrong groups wrong associations with a promise of some financial benefit i pray for you the raven that came to feed elijah to make sure he did not die of hunger even if it means god sending ravens i forbid hunger for you while you serve in the name of jesus christ now please hear me i want to pray a very special prayer for everybody but particularly for those called into ministry the spirit that makes the children of ministers useless as a way of mocking god to say you are here blessing people but your child is a drunkard i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me in the name of jesus let me prophesy psalm 112 he said blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty upon earth i prophesy that your seed must be mighty upon earth he said the generation of the upright shall be blessed may your generation be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever in the name of jesus christ now hear me when saul met with samuel three things happened that i want to prophesy over you please pay attention and don't say you are not part of the graduating students the anointing does not care once your heart is open to receive you can receive right where you are number one when saul met samuel samuel looked at him and said is it not because god has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance he said as you return back you will hear that the donkey that has been missing has been found let me prophesy restoration i don't know what left you and i don't care how long by the power and the mantle of god i decree and declare receive strange restoration restoration of time restoration of things i say it 
again. Restoration of time. Restoration of things. Number two. He said, you will continue going and you will meet three people. All of them holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and they will give to you honor and favor. Let me speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Exodus 3.21, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. By this mantle of favor, I cause dryness and emptiness from your life. I cause dryness and, and emptiness from your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15b. It says, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. From today, everyone who looks upon you and upon your ministry and upon your business, your organization, I compel favor from them to you. Number three, it said you will come to the garrison of the Philistines. And when you come, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you and you will begin to prophesy. Dimensions that people did not know you walking in. In the name of Jesus, for, for some of you, from tonight, the prophetic like never before, I activate it right now. For some of you, the grace for leadership, that mantle that was upon Joseph, may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Let me pray finally for you. The finisher's anointing. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I taught you last week that destiny is a fight. Destiny is a race and destiny is a treasure that you must keep. You must know how to fight. You must know how to finish. You must know how to keep. This tripartite grace that helps you to fight, helps you to finish and helps you to keep. Receive it right now. 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 The Lord is still telling me to prophesy longevity. Listen, the days that are coming, it is the grace that is on you that will keep you. Believe me. The spirit of death is just roaming around nations and families and just bringing pain for people. But I pray for you again. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. May death be far from you. Far from your family. Far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her there shall be a performance. There is a grace for performance. The grace that translates what you know into results. It's not enough to know. We must see the results. Therefore, the grace for performance, translating superior revelation into undeniable results. May that grace rest upon you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear me, for some of you, by reason of this impartation, between now and the next three months, what you have seen God do in Koinonia here, may he reproduce it in your life. May he reproduce May he reproduce it in your business. Reproduce it in your organization. In the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. The grace that connects you to kings. The grace that connects you to nobles. The grace that connects men to gatekeepers. 
in the name that is above all names that was the grace that was upon nehemiah because nehemiah carried that grace when he cried to the king even though he was an ordinary cup bearer in a moment he was given the resources he needed to rebuild the walls of jerusalem and he was giving a letter to all the governors to connect with him in the name of jesus the mantle that connects to kings receive it now systems and structures will honor you for in jesus name we pray whether you want to do whatever you're going to say lord forgive me if i'm to be sincere i know that certain things have replaced you it may not be that you are bad i'm not this is not a call to condemnation it's a call to repentance to say lord you don't have to go on your knees or what but whatever position is comfortable we are going to pray 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 Adonai Lamb of God you are worthy worthy of my praise King of Kings Lord of Lords let your kingdom reign in my life. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul rejoices. Take joy, my King. In what you hear, help me. I return I don't know when the passion for ministry took your place I didn't even realize that this is how far I veered off ah cry 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 belong to you total surrender my heart my life my everything you're not wasting your time man of God this is the secret to genuine power more than just principles your experience with God 
for some of you you need to repent you have been distracted you feared off looking for many things minutes we are praying there is a work of purging that God is doing in someone's life purging God is purging God is purging how I love to stand for you how I love to worship you keep praying and even though it hurts me for every step I take and even though it pains me for every move I make but I love you I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Hug and adore. Hug and adore. Your soul, 
in your business while you are worshiping God is arranging things for you while you're worshiping God is arranging the people who will come and sow the land for the church forget about the sorrow go ahead something is happening here sing your praise my hands lifted up I will worship you you've taken the pain and the sorrow away you've given me peace on the night there's no need to cry cause you're all you're my father, my everything. Oh, name my king. I can't even run again. Oh, name my king. Go ahead and worship him. Oh, name my king. 
a restoration of your passion for God a restoration of your passion for some of you after this conference you will start your own retreat with God because God is calling you you may need to shut down even in the secular we have public holidays where you shut down things so that you can face family or honor a national day or whatever it is God is calling you man of God by now you would have been a mighty prophet by now your business would have gone around the world but you have been searching for every other thing and you ignore the lover of your soul get back to the place of the altar leave me at the altar with my father leave me at the altar with my father leave me at the altar my father listen and pray and cry for mercy and say father i know i know that without you without you i can do nothing without you there's no life to me so i need you in my life today hallelujah one day i was preparing just worshiping the lord and resting and then i get this text that a group of some business people want to see me and they came and they said we're real estate people and we entered a covenant with God that anywhere in the world we build our estate we must build a house for you till Jesus comes I don't want to tell you how many estates they have built across the globe today and some of those houses have never gone to even go and see it. There are keys to houses today that I've not even gone to see myself. I'm not saying this to brag. Are we together? Sometimes it's good to challenge people. The product of God's mercy. a time within the period of two or three weeks God brought 18 cars what do you do with them will you put your leg in one and put your head in another one what kind of thing is that how many houses can you live in even if you travel to every nation see it is what you have that you give you can't give what there's something you are going to receive this night I'm not wasting your time please don't be distracted there is something that must come upon your life tonight because the favor of God is the child of his mercy thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion is that in your Bible for the time to favor her yea the set time that mobilization was in one month no poster no nothing coming to Jesus how do you explain this I'm not saying this to brag I hope you you, you don't misunderstand it that God will grant you access to kings and nobles access to their heart and you're wondering and saying what is this 
I'm not saying this to waste your time. I'm saying it because it must work in your life from this night. Yeah. That you will return back and as some of you on your way going home, you will start seeing a strange call. And all that you'll be hearing in your spirit is mercy. Mercy. And you pick the call and someone will say, where are you? I was in prayer and fasting and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. Are you John? Are you Ebuka? Are you this person? Please come see me in my office. Come with two or any two people you want to get a job. And they now come there and you are wondering. They just give them a job just like that. There are some of you by the mercy of God you are going to step into prepared blessings. Dimensions of blessings that have been prepared for you. I'm saying this to you by the spirit of God. Hear me. There are some of you in ministry. The level of grace and the hand of God you will begin to see in your life will surprise you. Prophetic encounters, supernatural visitations by the Spirit of God. There is no limit to what the mercy of God can do in the life of a man. Because, you know, since COVID, many people's lives, churches, ministries, families have gone down, even economically. Let me tell you the truth. It will take God's mercy to go down. When you have lost 1 billion or 100 million in your investment or in your business, what kind of technology are you going to use to gain it back? No. You take the mercy of God. I don't know how it works for others, but I can tell you how it works for me. Grace, your grace. I'm nothing without you. Your grace. Please stand. Your grace. Your grace. I'm nothing without you. Your grace. Now hear me i have 10 more minutes with us and we're done out of that 10 minutes we're going to take the next two minutes i don't know how you are going to cry before god i'm going to leave you for the next two minutes lord i acknowledge you as the only one exclusively with the power to lift me and the power to help me and i cry like bind but you thou son of david have mercy on me someone pray i don't know how you will cry before god oh but i leave you with god your maker for the next two minutes and that includes those following online god is able to help you and to raise you by his mercy having obtained help from god i continue to this day go ahead and pray mercy Mercy, shalike parakos kada brenda geba lakatos yata. You are a man of God in ministry. Cry for mercy. You are a businessman. Cry for mercy. You are a prophet that wants to be used mightily by God. Cry for mercy. An apostle, a teacher of the word. Cry for mercy. Believe me that outside of the mercy of God, there is not much you can do. This is true. You are crying to your God and your maker. Please pray. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has in store for me. So I submit to your work in me. 
Till Christ be formed in me No eye has seen, no ear has heard What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work in me Till Christ is formed in me No eye has seen, no ear has heard What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work in me Till Christ is formed in me Christ be formed in me your glory revealed through me your wisdom be found in me your favor rests on me no eye has seen no ear has heard what you have prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ form in me listen to me the bible says if my people which are called by my name in as much as they are called by my name the first thing is that they must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land the next time you say Lord I need your help what you are saying is keep me in the zone of your mercy mercy now you know it is not an immature spiritual prayer when you go to the place of prayer and you roll from left to right crying and say show me mercy show me mercy it was that brokenness that God found in the young boy Solomon that made him to receive such a rich investment of wisdom when Solomon was asked, what do I give you? He didn't just say, give me an understanding heart. He said, Lord, I am young and you have given me such a great people. Who is able to lead these people? He confessed his ignorance and his limitation. If there is something I know about God, I don't know everything about God, but there are a few things I know about God. One of it is that the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the cry of brokenness not the accuracy in prayer not the degree of compliance to the word alone the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the voice of brokenness show me a man and a vessel that is and remains ever broken you have found a way of trapping God's presence to your domain eternally. Let this mind be in you, the Bible says, Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, which was also in Christ Jesus. It says that even though he was God, he did not consider it a robbery, right? That he had that equality, yet he humbled himself. He submitted himself and died even the death on the cross. He says, wherefore? By reason of assuming that posture in the spirit and even physically, God had so highly exalted him and placed him upon him an office that is greater than every other office. He says that whoever invokes the authority that comes with that office, you see that? Whether of things in heaven, of things in the earth or under the earth, every tongue, every knee bows 
and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I am telling you now that in the kingdom and in the life that we live in the spirit our advantage and our edge is maintaining that posture of brokenness whether you are Jacob or Gideon or David or Solomon or even Jesus it does not matter who you are if it is the God of the Bible you want to secure his presence and his help you must perpetually remain in the place of brokenness crying for his mercy because one genuine encounter with God's mercy can rewrite your life rewrite your destiny hallelujah let me speak over your life some of you your spiritual fire has gone down some of you your passion for spiritual things has gone down your prayer life is almost zero nothing to write home about you may even be a man of God just because you are preaching does not mean your prayer life and your word life is alive you are the one who knows your stay with God some of you right now based on the assessment of your non-compliance to kingdom principles you do not deserve certain levels of the hand of God but the mercy of God is about to speak for you can I pray for you in the name of Jesus we call upon the helper of men and the merciful God may he show you mercy tonight mercy over your spiritual life mercy over your family mercy over your finances mercy over your ministry mercy over your health in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that by reason of the blood and that which happened in Calvary may mercy speak for you the same mercy speaks against every altar and every manifestation of darkness over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak prophetically over your life by reason of the mercy of God rise to heights unimagined open doors of opportunity for you by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the one who comes to make your walk with God easy the one who comes to make your life possible in the name of Jesus he who died and rose again I call for his ministry in your life in the name of Jesus Christ like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings will you blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings from the pages of my heart let my worship begin and never rest it's from the pages of my heart let my worship begin that never rest to the god of all flesh you're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name 
te fre que te va la cocia cabra te que va ratosia ta e la barra catos cabra toskiata just two more minutes shapara ta cata prate que pele que te fra cata va la catos cata prate que te va la cocia ta In Jesus name we pray In Jesus name we pray Help them please I release that grace upon you I release that grace take that grace In the name of Jesus Christ I release that grace take that grace Take that grace, the art of the altar, the ability to hold on to the horns of the altar. Take that grace, receive it as a mantle in the name of Jesus. The ability to pray the program of God. Not just give me tea and give me bread. No, controlling the gates of destinies in the place of prayer. with God. I stretch my hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take that grace. Help this man. Take that grace. Take that grace. I stretch my hands towards you. Take that grace. Receive that grace. Let it come upon you like the dew of Hammon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. them please i'm releasing it again the mantle of prophetic prayer the art of the altar take it take it now take it now take it now take it now receive that grace begin to pray in the spirit in one minute can i pray for you i don't know this man but there is a grace that is coming upon you i stretch my hands upon you may that mantle come upon you in the mighty name of jesus you will watch valiantly says the spirit of god valiantly you will do mighty things for him in the name of jesus christ listen listen please listen we're about to round up can i tell you this those who do not know how to pray the program of god for their lives and for nations will only allow these spirits prevail and keep aborting destinies there is a grace for prophetic intercession it's not a mechanical thing no Where are the intercessors in South Africa? I decree and declare at the count of three, any one of you called into the office of a watcher and an intercessor, may this man will activate that office at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that heaven. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I quicken the spirit of the watcher. I quicken the spirit of the intercessor. Arise over South Africa. Pray the program of God. Stay the power of darkness. Open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute. The program of God in South Africa, the program of God over your destiny is at the mercy of your understanding the art of priesthood, the mysteries of the altar. This is where we control the climate over territories. 
hear me South Africa hear me listen to me I submit to you by the spirit of grace that if the altar of prayer suffers in your land the program of God will also suffer it does not matter what goes right if prayer goes wrong everything will go wrong in the book of Daniel Daniel was not a prayer warrior Daniel was a politician but there was an angle of an intercessor and a watcher the spirits of the Medes and the Persians governed the land of Babylon and a parliament had to pass a bill to stop prayer for 30 days let it not be that under your watch South Africa goes down spiritually let it not be that under your watch South Africa goes down financially goes down as far as the program of God is concerned please hear me please hear me please hear me in one minute my time is up you are going to declare over your destiny the two lift gates of my destiny a father be open for the new season go ahead and pray the two lift gates I part you hither and thither it's time for a new season man of God pray for your ministry pray for the program of God it's time for enlargement open up be open financial doors be open ministerial doors be open Greater exploits, virgin dimensions, virgin territories. Reba shena ma shena ma da ba la ba da ba da ba da ba. Shalaga tabras kada la kashkoda. Kaka brakas kapa ba la kapa brama ga ba la ga ba la ba ba la ba ba. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Who is this man? Yes. Are you a pastor? Where? Because I'm not seeing you in Nigeria. I'm seeing you in Europe. Where? Huh? I'm seeing that you are black skin. But why am I seeing Europe on your head? I, I have European citizenship. I live in Europe. Oh, you live in Europe? Yes. You came from there? Or yes. you are South Africa? I, li I live in Europe. And I have my house, my business, my church in Europe. That's all right. I want to yes. pray for you. Listen, this conference was for you. Huh? Because even though you are in ministry, 
the anointing is going to come upon your business and honestly what god will do through your life will surprise you can i pray for you lift your hands you have a business in europe that's what i'm saying father you have granted us the grace to open up destinies i speak to you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle receive that grace let your business be open now take that fire in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be the beginning of a new season in the name of jesus the son of the living god go back and work signs and wonders go back and experience the favor of systems favors of structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah we have to close now but let me encourage you please whatever it takes for you to be here early and to open up your spirit will set this place on fire tonight in the name of jesus christ i believe that tonight there are mantles that have been looking for people and those graces will finally find you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god but as for now i declare you are blessed the grace to have discernment even in these seasons receive it right now the grace to remain in joy until victory is established i release upon you and the grace to pray through to pray consistently may that grace be released upon you in the mighty name of jesus stop he won't stop till his church looks like him he won't stop no he won't stop till my life looks like him god is raising man of power in this place god is raising man of influence in this place God is raising signs and wonders in this place. He won't stop, he won't stop till we look just like him. He won't stop, no, he won't stop till we look just like him. Two prayer points for this service, and we're done. Prayer point number one Father, show me from scripture. An individual whose destiny represents where you are taking me to go ahead and pray go ahead and pray find yourself in the scripture the Bible says he found where it was written concerning him please pray and obtain grace from God reveal to me by the power of your word where it has been written concerning me that lo, I come in the volume of the book Elijah find yourself in scripture Sarah find yourself in scripture Joseph find yourself in scripture Paul the writer of two-thirds of the New Testament find yourself in scripture Peter the chiefest of the Apostles find yourself in scripture Agabus find yourself in scripture Abraham find yourself in scripture there is nothing God wants you to become that you will not find a parallel of it in scripture. You will not go wrong when the word of God is guiding you. Please pray. Reveal the blueprint of my destiny by your word. My contribution to this revival that Africa and even Nigeria is privileged to host. In the name of Jesus final prayer point father grant me the grace to honor and to appreciate the diversities of assignments within the body of Christ go ahead and pray the grace man of God don't look down on business people business people don't look down on preachers entrepreneurs don't look down on leaders all together we represent parts and pieces of that glorious army wealthy people don't look down on intercessors and they who are pegged at the altar 
carrying the burden of nations and praying for them father grant me the grace to stay in my place of assignment but to have that understanding and that appreciation for the diverse provisions that are resident within the body in the name of jesus hallelujah please sit down very quickly let's write the prophetic focus for tomorrow hallelujah john 12 please 24 let's establish the prophetic focus for tomorrow don't miss tomorrow i'll be teaching you something very powerful you will keep progressing every day god is showing us mysteries i like us to read everybody want to read Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Tomorrow we are going to be examining the mystery of sacrifice. Our prayer, I'm going to be showing you how it must take sacrifice in the spirit for a man to go up. I'm not talking money. You must give up something to go up. It's a law. You cannot hold on to what you have and still rise. So our prayer tomorrow is going to be, Lord, grace for sacrifice. We hate this language in the body of Christ. Because many of us think when we talk sacrifice, you are trying to add to what Jesus has done. There is nothing that is of worth. Nothing that is of worth. Listen, the birth of anything valuable is painful anything valuable many people have not understood this law of sacrifice it has grounded lives grounded ministries grounded businesses grounded all kinds of things he said except except it falls and dies when you bury a seed or plant a seed the first thing that happens to that seed is that it dies when it dies it doesn't fear anything again because the last enemy to be defeated is death I will show you the mystery behind the boldness of many people is because they have died there is a way god kills your fear by exposing you to it and what made you cry yesterday you will walk through it you no longer will have fear sometimes god does not take it away he brings it face to face with you and you will find out that every challenge comes in his magnified form when you stand and face it it's smaller than it looks rise up on your feet tomorrow the lord will help us on that in the name of Jesus Christ. We, are, we apologize for the communion. We may just take it on Friday. Please, before we leave, i, I just like us to appreciate a dear um, woman. She's been here. She would not want me to do that, but I promise I was going to do it today. I'd like us to appreciate Madam Ladi. Um, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prof, my God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, every time she comes, she hides. And sometimes she can rush to Kaduna for lecture. Those who are in mass come, you know her. She's your lecturer. Um, she can run for lectures and still run back to make sure that she meets the meeting. And she will hide somewhere and say she doesn't want to be known. She's been teaching me Hebrew. And um, she taught me some things I'm going to share with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So thank you so much, Ma. We appreciate you. The Lord honor you. Let's honor her. And again, every other person. Hallelujah. There are a lot of elderly people, some lecturers. They can just come hide outside. Wherever you are, we honor you and we bless you in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands as I speak over your life. Yes, Lord, we believe you. You have waited three days laboring in the spirit and fasting. The Bible says meditate upon these things. He said give yourself wholly to them that your profiting will appear unto all men. I'm praying between tonight and tomorrow may your results begin to bear fruit. Let it, let it be evident. May your life begin to bear fruit. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The reward of your fasting, your praying, your stretching in the spirit, we pull.
come in from the realm of the spirit and command it to appear in the physical. Amen. The same way you rejoice over the testimony of some of the testimony of somebody tomorrow, may you be the one to stand here. In the name of Jesus Christ. A mark of honor, a mark of favor, a mark of wisdom, a mark upon your life that makes you an epistle of this fasting and prayer session. May it come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that as you move in your room and around, anything that is not of God, just by stepping in, may your atmosphere judge anything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who are already weary, we supply fresh grace. Fresh grace for fasting. Fresh grace for prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did you get the scripture? The mystery of sacrifice, Psalm 50 verse 5. Please write down the scripture, sorry. Psalm 50 verse 5. John 12, 24. And 2 Corinthians 4, 12. Your prayer focus will be on grace. I will be, please don't miss what, don't miss tomorrow's teaching. I will take some little time to teach. I want to share with you from my personal life and certain deep secrets that produce uncommon results. Psalms 50 verse 5. John 12 verse 24. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 12. The focus is the mystery of sacrifice. You are praying for grace. We are going to be teaching, unveiling the mystery of death and glory. I'm going to be showing you the relationship between death and glory. You must pass through that cross to ever get to the throne. There is no way to the throne. When you pray for breakthrough, Goliath is coming. Without Goliath, there is no throne. And I will show you that it is weak people who do not have challenges in their lives. It is weak people. Those who follow the path of least resistance are the ones who are at the lower levels in life. Tomorrow I will be challenging you. It takes you losing something to go up. Hallelujah. You must give up something. The Bible says, whosoever keeps his life will lose it. But whosoever loses it shall gain it. It's a mystery. Father, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you depart, my God will bless you. You will meet people in your various places that will bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. After the grace, I'd like you to hug 20 people and tell them we are going from glory to glory. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Please don't come alone. Invite your friends. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain